It's day 288 in the hardcore world. We just finished an awesome slime farm that will get us everything we need for our mega base, which we're draining over on Twitch. But I'm missing something that we should have gotten in 1.19, the updated birch forests. And I'm gonna turn boring old this into something which is amazing. And we're gonna add archeology span too. So make sure you stay tuned and let's talk game plan. And the first thing we need to do is name our bouncy friend here. But we're not going to do that right at the start of a video. We're going to have to do this at the end because there's something about this farm that I really want to talk with you all about. And we're going to do that right at the end. But for right now, let's just quickly pop over to where we're draining the ocean monument like this. So full disclosure, YouTube Movie Magic, I'm recording this clip after everything else is done. And I just forgot to record it. I forgot to actually get a clean video of this. So we're gonna build what is our to-do list. This was fun last time. We're just gonna do it again. And I'm gonna build it right here on the walls of the sand machine. First up is resources. We're gonna need multiple shulkers of trees, bones, bone meal, moss, and leaves. Next, we're going to clear the island. You'll see that, that'll be fun. Finally, we're gonna build a birch forest or est there's only one r there's only one r i can english good and then finally we're gonna build an archaeology are you happy everyone i don't know how to spell but this is the plan and i'm totally recording this clip before everything else was done movie magic and the law of equivalent exchange dictates that all of the blocks I'm gonna need for this build need to come from somewhere. So I spent a lot of time just tearing down the birch forest here so that we'd be able to make the one over by our starter base that much better. So we're just, we're just getting birch. We're gonna need a lot of it. So we're gonna just spend the time. We're gonna yeet this forest and then move it over to our base. And we're gonna yeet that forest, replace all of the oak with more birch. So we're gonna have a lot of birch to work with. We might need multiple shulkers for leaves in all honesty because we're not we're not going to use any regular leaves we're going to build all the trees that we want to build we're going to need a lot more logs oh boy we're going to need a lot well i guess the only good news is we're not going to need as many logs as leaves because we're building trees we're not building a structure basically roughly the same amount of logs that we chop down should be the amount of trees that we can build all right nope nope leave me alone no brains available here. Have you seen me try to do redstone? Uh-uh. While I was working and lost in the blocks, little Gundo decided to visit. Moss on log. Oh yeah, absolutely. Oh, honey. Honey, you can't do that. Honey, you have to tell me when you're coming downstairs. Are you okay? Is everything okay? Hold on, everybody. Hold on, everybody. Give me a second. All right, I gotta talk to little Gundo. She's never been that quiet coming downstairs. I normally hear her giggle or I hear her on the stairs. Nothing. I heard nothing. The only thing I heard was dad and I saw movement in the door and it freaked me out. She scared me, but that's adorable. All right, but it's off to work. And there's one very easy way to clear a lot of trees in Minecraft. Let everything burn. Yeah, this is kind of working. This is actually mostly efficiently working with what we needed to do. Like this is gonna clear out a good, our workspace pretty, pretty relatively quickly. And once we clear the whole island, then we're good to go. Ow. Oh, the phantoms are on fire. Oh, that is, that was kind of hard to watch. This island looks way bigger than when it had the trees on it. Now that it's super empty. Like this feels, this feels pretty, this feels pretty big. <laughs> the island is all clear and just a little bit on fire. So now we can start building the actual birch forest. But with that, the birch forest is starting to come together. And here's the overall plan for what I want to build. Birch trees are honestly really tall with a very bushy top. So we have two different styles of crowns and I'm using spruce leaves to introduce some variety into the canopy without having to build different kinds of trees 
overall. We're using everything we can that is vaguely plant-like to introduce some color down on the ground floor, some moss, a little bit of everywhere. And to keep it distinct from spruce forests, we're using smooth stone and andesite instead of cobble and mossy cobble. One of the first things we're gonna do is the thing that we saw in the update that we didn't get is just felled trees with moss, like moss on top, right? But you can't just do like all of it next to each other. You have to do in a way that makes sense. So like that, but with no bushes, right? So I have a little bit, just like a little bit like this. This is already a thing. This already looks good. Right? We already have something that looks good. The other thing we're gonna do is we're gonna use these bushes, like this, to give ourselves flowers down in the ground, which will make life nice and simple. Nice little, nice little bits of detail and color. So we're gonna put some felled trees a little bit around the islands and go from there. We're also gonna strip some of them too. All right, and now we have something we have the start of it i think this is the overall palette that i want to go for i need more leaves for these trees but it's starting to come together now it's just doing that on the entire island and we have some other secrets that we're going to add but first summon the trees hey how's it going didn't notice you there you know what you might not have noticed my apex gaming pc's link down in the description if you want to get started in gaming modding content creation you want a pc that can let you play minecraft or on the hardcore series 2 world which is going to be released very very soon check out the link down in the description for five percent off your order and to let them know that i sent you all right let's get back to summoning the trees <laughs> Now the thing that doesn't belong in vanilla Minecraft, but will make this build decidedly extra, is three giant rune stones that we're building in the center where we'll keep our pink sheep in the middle of it. And I'll have those all glowing with frog lights whenever I eventually make a frog light farm sometime in this world. Does that feel good? Does that feel good to everybody else? That feels kind of good to me. We're gonna need to put like some stuff on the inside of these things. I kind of vibe. I think scale-wise, it kind of fits as well, too. So let's make the runic design, and then we'll, then we shall worry about, like, what it wants to do. Now, I'm just kind of randomly tinkering right now. I'm not saying that this is a lore-based symbol. I'm just randomly tinkering. I kind of like that. I kind of vibe with that. Ow. Not necessary. I just wanted some kind of non-wooden structure in the, in the center of the space to give it a little bit of contrast or some other kind of element to it. It's making it feel real, y'all. Ooh, I kinda like that vibe. All right, now the question is, what do we put behind those rooms to really make it pop? I'm thinking amethyst was kind of my go-to because then it's purple, it kind of tracks, it kind of works th through. The other thought I had is we could try gold. We could try some gold and do something with that. It's kind of perfect that I'm doing this bit inside of the ruins that we've built over here in the jungle. But before we get to archaeology, there's one other thing we need to do. See, it is day 313 here in the hardcore world. The day that I died in my first ever hardcore world on YouTube. Yep, this is a big one. This is stealing. We love stealing. Oh! I made a promise when we hit day 13 I was going to raid a bastion and fully loot it and that I did and you will not believe what I happened to find waiting inside that should be fine okay regen we'll get fire res so we'll have a lot of space for that we are going to be smart with how we do this we're going to have hoppers for looting because they don't care if you loot from hoppers 
We're gonna have fire res on board because then we can use buckets of lava. We're gonna have a spare totem in our inventory. Everything else that is not essential cleared out of our inventory. So no other tools basically other than sword and pickaxe. It is officially day 313. This is when I died in Hardcore Series 1. So we're gonna go raid a Bastion just to get revenge. And it's expanded. <laughs> so there's that. All right, boop, boop, boop. There we go, that, they're dead. That's a zombie, let's not do that. I nailed that shot. Oh, I nailed that shot! Uh, so here we go, three, two, one. Another right ingot. <laughs> I'll take that. I'll take a netherite ingot. That's huge. Okay. Uh, okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Now we are mostly, I think, safe. I think I've killed all the brutes. Nope. Nope. There's one. Fire res potions. Huge. Let's put our chest blade back on. Probably. That's that's probably a good call. Probably what some would say smart. We've just been throwing ourselves into lava. Who? Or throwing a lava bucket down whenever anybody attacks us. Oh, fire res is, is broken if you really could use it. Oh no! I, I did that too soon. Ooh, okay. Curse of Vanishing Crossbow. Okay. I mean, a Curse of Vanishing Crossbow, sure. Sure, we'll take it. For the nostalgia for our other life, we will take it. Burninating the countryside. <laughs> Oh, that's cruel. That that one, I felt bad. I felt guilty about that. Um, we're gonna do something really stupid. Just cause we can. <laughs> oh. I'm mainly taking the Gilded Blackstone as my trophy. Like that's the main thing I want, actually. Believe it or not. I mean, you all believe it. You all know how I build. You all know what blocks I value. I don't see anybody else. There's a gold block over there. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Ooh, that pays all off. I'll take another eight ancient debris, or sorry, another eight gilded blackstone, and then a cinnamon bun for sure. A fire aspect two sword, that stays here. We're not taking that at all. Uh, a golden ax with silk touch. This does kind of solve the problem of needing needing another axe for the mushroom blocks do we take this as our trophy all right so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna take this silk touch axe we're going to grind off silk touch we're going to get our book of silk touch efficiency five on breaking three and mending we're gonna enchant this we've beat series one this is now no it's no longer our shortest hardcore world We've made progress. As is tradition, as is as promised, we must do it. Celebration, everybody. Netherite hoe, efficiency five, silk touch on breaking three and mending. That feels good. Yes. I always make a netherite hoe first. I'm working on a forest project. What did you expect? And with the raid over and our hoe upgraded, which will be very useful, it's time to get back to the build. And that starts with an archeological dig site near the center of the map. I need to build out that wall and put a better door or some hidden base behind it. But for right now, as I'm just getting started with the build, that solid stone brick wall is good enough. So here's what I was thinking for our archeology span site. We're literally just gonna go with the natural wall right here. And we will detail this wall a little bit later. Go away, leave me alone. And we can actually then, if we wanted to, put an entrance into this caves. Now this is obviously not exactly what we were gonna see in 1.19, but I want, or sorry, in 1.17, but I wanna basically come up with something that fits in with the rules I've set for the world overall, as well as being generally on the vibe of what we see in vanilla. I'm out of blocks. We need now this. Uh, we should probably make that one higher so we can walk under it, shouldn't we? We'll have it into the stone on that side. Couple barrels right there. We'll have a ladder 
which will get you up to here. There needs to be another platform that we'll walk into, put a Stargate in the cave. I am not against that, but we'll get to that, okay? So we'd have stone, andesites. This would be like verifiably part of what was the site that we're excavating. And everything was going well. I had gotten into a groove. All of the trees are starting to be put together. The overall design and layout of the place is just set. And then when you get comfortable in Hardcore Minecraft, Hardcore Minecraft reminds you that you can die at any moment. Well, uh, that was stupid. <laughs> I did not think that was how I was gonna pop my first totem. This is the last one I have, so I need to be careful. Or we're gonna have to make a totem farm. Anyway, time for some final, final, final details. And then this thing is done. Actually, wait, I need to put Birch off of all of this part too. Okay, one last part to do, one last time lapse. I love the look of it, all of the trees. It really stands out from a vanilla island. But there is one last thing I want to do. We have this space over here, this really cool space we have. Well, that's not exactly the sheep that belongs here, right? You all know that pink sheep are super important to me as a creator, as a minecrafter. It's always been something that I have that's really special and this pen just doesn't cut it. Come on, Kopi. And this should be safe because this was all an oak island or just oak forest initially. This was not birch, which should not spawn wolves. So I'm gonna do this without a wall. We're gonna just have Kopi just kind of chilling in the middle of that rune circle. And hopefully everything will go just fine. Coming to a new home. The other thing I definitely wanna do is once we have frog lights, which we will be doing in a future video. We're gonna have all of these stones nice and glowy. We'll leave Kopi, our pink sheep right here. And now the island is done. All right, I lied. I'm super nervous about wolves and I don't want my sheep to die, so I put them in a big pen. But there's one last thing, carefully exiting the trees this time. There's one last thing we need to do, and we're gonna quickly head through the nether to do it. I wanna have a quick chat about our cube friend right here. So, I kind of hate this build. I built this because I thought it's what the algorithm would want, what YouTube would want, and this, this isn't true to how I play the game or to what I'm doing here in my hardcore world. So we're gonna redo it, we're gonna rebuild it, and I'm not just gonna take one name, I'm gonna trap over a hundred slimes in a huge castle and I'm gonna need more names. So go check out the video that I have on screen right now. Leave your favorite slime-based name down in the comments and you might see them in a future episode. Take care of each other.